Hello guys, I welcome you to another episode of Talk to Be. In case you're just joining, in case you have never watched it before, you have missed a lot, but it's a good time to start. You are lucky, you're blessed because you can still go back to see all our previous episodes. You're going to learn a lot. On Talk to Be, we talk about you, we talk about me, we discuss lifestyle, our challenges, our experiences, our stories and how we've been able to overcome them. I know in all things, we are all victorious. So on this episode of Talk to Be, I have an amazing guest in the house. But before then, I also like to state, guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I beg of you, my YouTube channel is Biola Adebayo Entertainment, ENT. So guys, please subscribe. I'm also on Facebook now as Abiola Ayomide Adebayo. So guys, please subscribe, like, share. Please do now. You, you cannot be enjoying this alone. And some of you are watching me without even following me. Ah, ah, near Blue Jai. I'll be right back. Talk to B. 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 Talk to be, share your experience. Thank you for staying tuned on the show. The show is Talk to Be. Like I said earlier, that I have an amazing guest in the studio with me. Somebody with a special story. Someone who is um, my friend, my sister actually. And it's been a long time coming. And she has this story that I think you should learn from. You're going to laugh. You're going to smile. You might cry. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's an amazing story that we should share, learn from. You know, that's what we do basically on Talk to Be. So let me introduce my beautiful friend. Her name is Olufunke Bolarimba. I'm just trying. Yeah, so, yeah, yo, yo, yo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I said, Hi. thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. It's such an honor to have you here. You're I am welcome. grateful. You're welcome. Thank you. Everybody is busy in Lagos. I know. Uh -huh. for, so, for somebody to leave his or her house to be on your show <laughs> is a lot to me. I do not take it for granted. Despite the fact that you are my friend. And if I ask you to come, you will come. Oh, be me down. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much You're for welcome. coming on the show. I I would like my viewers to meet you. Please introduce yourself. Let's get to meet you. Let's get to know you. Okay. My name is Funke Bola mm -hmm. um, I'm a presenter. I'm an actress. I'm an entrepreneur. And um, what else do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> Everything that you think we should know. Just say before, before me, I start my own. Okay. So um, um, I'm number number. Four. Four in the family of five. Um, the first girl, mm. and um, I was once married. Mm. Did I say I'm sassy? I'm not sassy. <laughs> 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 so, and um, what else? Just ask me. Okay, I know, right? <laughs> All right, thank you. I know Funke has been a presenter for. Only God knows when. <laughs> I had been, we've well, been, I've been in the days of NCA, you and know. Fuke has been in the days of your tummy, yeah, right. years back, <laughs> and everything. Well, thank God for life. Thank God for we life. are here to say the story, and in good health, in blessings, yes. we thank God. Mm -hmm. A lot, um, some have passed away, mm -hmm. some are nowhere to be found, mm -hmm. but we are grateful to yeah. God. Yeah. Yes, um, so let's get to... So, Let's, before we go deep to your story, mm -hmm. the ones that I know a little about, uh, the ones that, let's tell us about your growing up. Tell us okay, about I'm it. from Ekiti State. Yeah. Okay, I was. I <laughs> Ah, you don't know that we have a good it's just <laughs> discipline. Hey, I bought and we hate English. Well, we hate cheating. I know. We right? don't like it. I know. Right? All right, so I'm from Ekiti State. I was born in a bad dawn. Okay, you to be precise. Me. I'm an half caste. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, and um, 
I shall go to primary school, but my primary school was kind of off and on, off and on because I was with my grandma in a kitty. Okay. So my grandma would stay in the kitty for one year, come back to Lagos and stay for one year. You know, and she always carried me along. <laughs> you know, I'm the first grandchild, so, oh. and I stayed with her. So she always, you know, when she comes, I stay one year. When I go back, I will, you know, my mates are already. You are first grandchild? Yes, oh. I am. Actually, my mom married my dad. My mom was initially married to an Ishakiri man. Okay. Boy, he died. Mm -hmm. Then he married my dad. And she married my dad. dad. Then your dad had other three. No, my mom had three boys before Ooh. me from the first Ooh. marriage. So Ooh. me, I'd be the first child for my dad. Daddy. Oh, <laughs> I, I understand. So. Hey, wait, though. Mm. You are the first child of your dad. Yeah. Your dad married your mom with three children. Yes. Three boys. I'm hearing that for the first time. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. And he doesn't have any child before? No. Okay. My mom happens to be his first wife. With three kids. Yes. Men! <laughs> Shango! This is it. Fuka is not young girl. Forget about this beautiful beauty. So you can imagine that. Are you serious? Yes, yes I am. What an amazing man. Tell us about that, please. Well, according to what I heard, you, uh, my mom got married to his first husband as a virgin. So he shall have three children to go on. Now, amazing guys. Mm. So, and when the man died, I don't know how my mama and my papa need to. Uh, they didn't tell me that. <laughs> tell me that. But they share, they share marry share. So actually, I had two boys before me, but they mm. died. Oh, uh, those days. Uh, yeah, they died. The way they used to die. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, though my papa to get. Yeah, I leave that man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so before the, my mom had me, and then um, my, my grandma was like, ah, hey, my first grandchild has stayed. Mm. Hey, Ekiti, yeah. Mm. You know, and she just carried me with her to Ekiti. Wow. Hey, happy kids, you just be going everywhere with grandma. Yes, and so, ah, ah. yes, so, <laughs> yes. So. It was, she was very, very angry when my dad had to, you know, said, you know, she, my dad told her that, uh, mama, this education is not really mm. okay with her. So she should allow me to stay in Lagos. And my mom was like, eh? You want to collect? And my mom had to move to Lagos with me. Ah, ah. <laughs> Is she still alive? Ah. My mom had to come and do it. Want to come and do it. Okay, let's, let's, let's move. To. Okay, before, before that, I've, um, I, I, I want to move to your marriage and okay. everything. You said you're divorced, I know. So yeah. I want, but before I move to that, I'd like to ask the journey to presenting, the journey to acting for you. <sighs> okay. I, when I was going, when I was in primary, secondary school, I love news casting. When I see Sylvester, one, uh, one man like that in, I think, NTA, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, I want to be like this man. I want to, ah, 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 I want to, to feel it, in you know? <laughs> so I, then I was acting, I was initially with um, Yemi, um, no, Yemi, I want to do now. The man in the battle. Yeah, Amodu, yes. I was with him. We were together with Baba Jesha, with a um, lot of guys. They are now doing well in the industry, different fields. So then later I left there. I went to Wumi, Yetunde Wumi. Okay. Then later Yetunde Wumi said, ah, you can't continue with group and all that and all that. Mm. So I had to move to Odunfaka because oh. where I was with um, Yen and Minka Kodu. Then... At some point, something happened. My family started, you know, disturbing me that she don't act. That they said it's only Rano that do acting and did this, did this, da 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 da. So when all the men in the house now gang up on me and like ah, they beat me, they I say okay, oh, let me share, stop. And I believe we are all in the same entertainment industry, even broadcasting, um, movie, oh, music, everything. Yeah. 
So I said, okay, if you're not pursuing me for a year, I go go year. I go go year. <laughs> <laughs> so then I started working with Teju Fum. From there, I met Jide Morun Fum. Okay. So then I learned he was with Yotomi then. Mm. So I now went to meet him. I said, ah, bros, I love presenting. I say I can be tagging along, you know. Mm. So he now said, okay. So the first time I will go with him to um, Yotomi, then I met this woman, which I've you know, met before at, um, she was with um, our uh, ACO, our Dakari Kari organization. Okay, yeah, Ogabelo. So, Ogabelo, yes. Yeah. So that was where I met her and we went for one artist night in Malaysia with her one time like that. So when I met her, she had actually, Tony, Tony Olanri Waju, she's late now. So, and then um, I just like, ah, Tony, you didn't remember. I know. I didn't. She, 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 she was so nice. You know, she was so nice. She has forgotten about me, but she was just like, oh, so, eh -eh. so she played along and all that. So I now told her that I love presenting me. This is that. that. Said, eh. ah. Big boss, I like, oh, come. She you said you have um, one program like that that you need to do a presentation. Mm. I mean, presenters, and then um, you've gotten one that happens to be Lady Dapo. Mm. So I said, oh, that's true. And that came that day, you just do one um, freestyle and all that. Despite the fact that that was my first time presenting. Alade nearly killed us. Mm -hmm. But to God be the glory, we are here now. And we started with um, one talk show and later to another. I remember that one we used to do it at night, where you mm -hmm. and you and uh, Tonya Ibaku called. You forgotten, I know. <laughs> we called him. Yes. You called in and Tony was like, ah, that pop back the box, I see, let me. Ah, <laughs> why so, and uh, they used to play couple then. Exactly. And used to be like acting. Yes, it's call called Kilerue. Kilerue. Yes, mm -hmm. we did, we used to do Big Baroque in the afternoon, then Kilerue in the night. So that was how we started and all that. At some point again, I stopped mm -hmm. because there was a guy I was dating in US then. You know, guys with inferiority complex and all that. It was like, no, you have to stay at home. I will be giving you money every month. Stay at home, be eating, be watching film. And I complained, and my mama said, despite the fact that he has not paid my dowry, so I had to stop presenting. And I was at home, sleeping, waking up, and eating and watching film. In fact, he sent me movies from US then. To be watching? Yes. And this single lady? Oh, <clears throat> And this, there, there was this DVD that has screen that they were, they, they sell of then. Of course. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, so yeah, he sent, DVD. oh, you get it. He sent like five for seven. He said I should sell, sell some, be using it to flanger, and I should keep one for myself. So after five years, that one removed shocker for my leg. I'll be shocked, then, won't they? Another story. You agreed? I did. Because... I was, I was in love and I was naive. I mm. not now. Mm. No guy can do that with me now. Mm. It's better go. Let naive. me face my career. <laughs> so I was naive, and you know, my mom was in support of what he said, and I don't really have a was choice. Was it one guy when you were at Mapoluku? You that get it. Deep? You get it. So after five years, because I went for a movie shoot without his consent, without his permission, and he said a friend of mine. Took his number from my phone, informed him, and that was it. That mm. you went to location. Yes. And. And that was it. You broke up. Yes. He broke up with me. After five years. Yes. Of sit at home. Yes. No work. Yes. So I had to find my way back. In the end. Uncle wasted your time. Time. He came back. Another story for another day. Ah, we are going to talk. About <laughs> <that>. <laughs> he he wasted went. another years. And left again. Hey, see me. Mm. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So you now went back uh, fully into presenting. Okay, so yes. at that time when you now left, while you, while you were home, you weren't doing anything. So what happened? At what point did you now go back into? Okay, go back into presenting. Yeah, into any of them that you went. Well, to. after he dropped the bomb that he wasn't interested again because I went, you know, for a shoot, a movie shoot. I was downcasted. I was, I was, I was, I don't even know the English to qualify it. 
I was crying day and night because I don't know where to pick the pieces of my life from again. So there was this aunt, this area sister that I know, and I, you know, it was in it was in Nigeria then. He heard about, I mean, she heard about the story, and you know, she always wants to take me along so that I won't be thinking, you know, depressed and all that. So there was one day she called me and was like, "I have one abudu that is single." That he too wants to get married and all that. Ah, okay, no problem. So we met at um, one. Mushy. <laughs> <laughs> we met at one of that auntie and um, my friend, their palo. So when we met and um, I saw him, we talked. He told me about his date of birth. I started doing my astrologer, the astrology, something in my head. It was born February 6th. Uh, yeah, February 13th. Um, February 13th. I was like, oh, he had the same Aquarius. We're done. Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> so then he's just a year older, the year and one week older than me. And I was like, ah, we make the perfect couple. Never, I never knew what was in his mind. So we met once or twice and we got down. Then I became pregnant. twice mm. for that's between how long how long uh, was that dating? between about uh, six months three okay. to six months okay so i became pregnant and that was where the devil in him came out i'm sorry if he's going to see this i don't sorry i i, I care but i don't care at the same time i know, I know, I know. so when i told him i was pregnant <laughs> the gentility guy that i used to sing in him he packed down on one side he vanished mm. How can you be pregnant? What do you mean? I was like, ah, this they said you are ready to get mm. married. So what is the problem? How mm. old were you then? Sorry. I was 30 because I know I, I knew I got married when I was 34. So I was like 33 going to be 34, 34. then. Mm. So I was like, I'm not going to get rid of this pregnancy. I am not. And he was like, no. Ah, he's, um, seriously, I tried getting rid of it. I took injection. But the thing refused to go down. So when I did scan, then I used to pray for twins. When I did scan, they said I had triplets in me. And I was like, though the doctor was like, <laughs> was skeptical. I was like, ah, see, I money. I've been born before. I was scared. I was like, what's the problem? Ah, ah. He cleaned it. That's when I went for scan. Mm -hmm. He cleaned it. He put it. And uh, you know what is it? He landed as I saw three sack. And but two light, two has a uh, four twists. I became uh, fetus. fetus. But the other one, nothing yet. But I should come back in about two weeks' time. So when I eventually, when I did another scan, they said it's two. Okay. I was so happy. happy. I was so so happy. And. It was like, when I told him, it was like, ah, if you had told me, I have a good doctor. I said, good doctor to come and do what? And to get rid of it, no. And I said, no, I won't. It was like, hey, you can't marry me. I said, no problem. I just want you to know that I am pregnant and I'm having your child, having your children. I said, I did not know So. Um, sorry, you were like, how many weeks or months? into the pregnancy at that time at that time i was just like about one month plus okay so later his family came and was like they don't have children outside wedlock they yes that their family don't have children after, uh, outside wedlock that we have to get married so one of my uncle who happens to be a prophet said we should not make noise and um, for security purpose, spiritual and all that, that I say, I say a lot of things. Yeah. The, guy said, the guy said, no, we will parry you. That when his brother got married, his son, yeah, did it because he happens to be one of, um, he's a prince, one oh. of the other in Ijebu, like that, like that. So he said, ah, hey, that one they call son, yeah, sonny. This one they call was you. Ah, his own, they will not know. Ah. We shall drag, 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 eventually we parry you. Then I was, at that time, I was um, about seven months gone. Before you, because I was trying to 
put it together and i'm sure my viewers also would like to know from um i don't want the child i'm not interested to I'm a pariwo. Hey, because the family convinced him, they talked to him, they hey, pleaded. So the family. Yes, they, and even my mama said pleaded. I said, I was like, I don't need you guys to plead. Hmm. Having having baby is not a disease now. I will I will take care of fine, it might be difficult, but I will take care of them. So the child said no. Okay? We started planning the wedding, a lot of problems here and there. And I got married, I can't remember the date. Because I don't want to remember. So okay. you got married like into like seven months into the yes, pregnancy. Yes, but before then, when we had our registry, mm. I remember vividly that I was in his house, in his in his room, and we were sleeping after we came back from swearing first, from swearing. So I just heard that person. I just heard a voice because I'm this light sleeper. I was like, I just heard him. I just heard that person called. His name and he stood up. It's a female voice. Later, I got to know that his ex, not even his ex, his girlfriend, came to the house to call him. And I told him that, see, I'm not saying you should know your girlfriend should not come, but please, not here. This is my territory. You guys can meet outside. Yes. That was that after your wedding? Before my wedding, for swearing. Then later we did our registry. Then on the wedding day, you know, we shall do the wedding. Then we went to the hotel. We couldn't even do the honeymoon because there is no more honey in the moon. <laughs> I was pregnant, and you know, it wasn't. It, I later saw that he wasn't really in love with me. So Sunday stroke Monday, no, Saturday stroke Sunday. Then Sunday we went home. Then Sunday stroke Monday, I started having contraction. I was seven months, oh. and I was I was carrying twins. So when the thing started, like, I know, mommy, I was having this, I, was, I called him, I said, ah, guy, my dear, this is what is happening. Whoa, 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 please don't disturb my life. I was like, ah, Two days after we did. Yes. Yes. Don't disturb my life. Ah, I shall calm down. Later, the baby will stop moving and all that. I'll calm down. Then in the, in, when we were asleep and in the middle of the night and the pain was so much, the pain was so much, I called him. The next thing he said was, please, to back Darola, just go to your mama's house. I don't have time for all this nonsense. And I was like, is it my mother that gave me Beleni? Why are you like this? He said, please, I don't have time. And I called my nurse in the morning. I told her. She, that one I said, I should use Miss Mag. Miss Mag? Mm-hmm. Although you seven months. He thought it was just ordinary, um, you know, you know. So I took the Miss Mag, the baby calmed down. I thought everything was okay until the thing was unbearable. And um, probably he now went out to talk to some people and they told him that we should have at least mm. rushed this woman to the hospital. We knew she, we knew she was actually pregnant. So she took me, he, he took me to the hospital, general hospital. And when I got there, I started. You know, when we're growing up, my mom, you know, mother and daughter talk now how the contraction used to do her. Mm. She you feel like vomiting. Then I started feeling like vomiting, and I was like, "This is it." <sighs> so. The doctor tried. <sighs> I lost. You lost the children.
actually <laughs> that never changed anything after losing that it was what what what, what was what was the problem what was the cause what one they they said the um how will i put it number one i tried you remember i said i tried aborting them you saw. yes then number two you know these children they they might think yeah they are children but at the same time they, some of them got to me they know what's up mm. many of them don't want to come into a family where there is there no is unity no love or they are not wanted or they are not wanted i was the only one that wanted them i wish i wasn't married and um and how because the doctor said if he had brought me earlier probably they would have saved, saved them, them. Right. because in fact it wasn't the whole thing wasn't up to 30 minutes let's say 31 hour yeah that i gave birth and um the first oh, one died gave yes birth. i gave birth yeah. yes the first one died immediately the second one still cried so sometimes i hear the cry and um They had to pack them in a poly bag and give it to him to grow up. So, so, and every morning they call, you know, not hospital, of course. They called the nursing mother to come back the baby. And um, the noise, the cry of baby when they are. I'm sorry. Yeah, the hospital. I wish my children were part of them. But. Okay. I know it's been a long time, though. So after that, yeah. now the the real suffering started. Real stuff. Real suffering. You know? Suffering. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no worries. It's okay. Enough of the emotions. <sighs> I, I I know this is probably going to happen at some point. So I know. Okay. It's okay. Just breathe in, breathe out, and. <sighs> You'll be a man so quick, and banning my son, not be a moti ye ba wunyo. A motoba, a bonitoba wunyo, long way, man wunyo. Now, because I do tell him from time to time, after then, that I know you don't love me. You married me because of the children. Now the children, they are gone, so what next? It doesn't, it doesn't care. Then at some point, I went to my mom's place, you know. Mm, new mother, my breast and everything. So she just had to take care of me. Then when I go back home, hmm, this man will leave home. Person that just gave birth will leave home. No food. You remember, the guy I left stopped me from working. Working. So at that time you were not even doing anything. Nothing. And you know, even if you want to ask your friends. Either your former boyfriend to help you, they say, Maybe you are married. You are married. So, no help from anywhere. You go, go to that place that I met him, that allergies place, that beer parlor. Okay. You go there, drink. Oh, you, you met him in beer parlor. Not that I met him, but that was where, where okay. we had, you know, we just had to meet Mixing, because. Yes. Because because the auntie, the woman I I I, I that was that you knew them. Her, was dating the man that owns the bar, oh. and that was where he actually met my ex husband, mm. and they got talking, and that one said, "Yeah, he wants to marry, blah blah blah, and all that." So.
guys do you like what i'm wearing yes you can also get yours it's available on our instagram page rtwb5000 rtwb5000 do you want jewelry it's also available at jewelry by b5000 you can get it it's not too expensive you won't have to stick your neck out to get it trust me so just send us a dm and we're at your service i love you guys that was the time he left home without giving me anything, nothing in the house. I had to be taking, you know, kafura kwelebe. Yes. Inside water is for abuja mm. So I had to be taking that water to just fill my stomach. Yes. That was what I was taking in the morning, in the, in the afternoon, at night. How? Because there was nothing to eat. And I was far from my family. Where I was, I didn't know anybody. So even when I called him that, ah, there was a day I called him and I, ah, there's nothing in the house, so please come with something when you're coming. He got to around 12. He didn't bring anything. So practically, I starved from morning till night. Then you continued. I was like, ah, what will people say? Marriage, how many Trouble. days? So at some point, I started come. Then at some point, he stopped sleeping with me. Because before we left the hospital, they said, ah, I had to turn your to start shame you. He stopped sleeping with me. I will be begging. He will tell me he's fasting. Ah, I'm fasting now. I say, ah. Okay, if you fast, maybe you will break by six. So are you fasting overnight? At some point, I reported him to our then uh, parish pastor. He called us. And he made a statement before we go there, before we went there that day. He said, you are my house help. Eh? Yes. House help. 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 I will never forget that, that statement. He said, you are my house help. You are here to wash my clothes, cook my food, clean my house and if i feel like having sex with you i will i will never forget that statement and the, i was like the guy the guy is just a year older than you I yes think. wasn't that what you said yes ah. and i was like ah, i'm not your house help i am not but you know i i can't fight so we reported the case to our parish pastor. He repeated that same thing. And and when I when the pastor asked him, why are you not sleeping with you? I said, I'm fasting. Now when I said, you don't fast it, but daddy you only. What are you telling me? That's even if papa, if daddy wants to go and minister, our mama said, Daddy, you are needed in the inside ministry. Is that a daddy begged her? That madam, okay, when we come back. Not like I'm fasting. You I'm can't fasting. You can't to touch you. me. I can't touch you. You know? And that was actually what I was doing. Washing his clothes. Cooking his food. And um, whenever I feel like having sex. So at some point we moved from where we were and went to Mui. So I was even far off from my family. So we went there, and at some point I started hearing all these uh, marriage counselors look sexy for your husband. I da, 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 da. <laughs> like, remember one day I was actually I dressed up, ah, I wore bob shorts, yeah. I make up, and ah, any lady get to dinner today, my fumo boy done. Bimu, as, sorry, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> as I dressed, that was the way I went to bed, because it came back around was it around two a.m. And when, anytime he comes back, he wants his food hot. Eh? Yes. Me too. Eh? Oh, I will stand up. I have to go and either I start cooking or I warm the food. So we had a couple of fights. There was one he, fought, he, he had um, this serious disagreement with me that I, I, I should wash his clothes in the sun. Because I had to get, her bathroom isn't that big. So I had to always bring out the clothes outside okay. to wash. So in the morning, there was this sun at our side 
then in the afternoon evening it goes to the, the other side. side so i always want to wait till when the sun goes to the other side he said no i should pick the clothes and go and wash now not that he wants to wear the clothes too i should go and wash and i was like ah, wait now then the sun he said no he said no i should go and wash it i said darling i can't he packed the clothes Go outside and start washing. I said, Myself. Thank God. You are not washing my clothes. It's you are your washing clothes. yourself. I'm washing for your clothes. So, one hour and hour, one hour and one hour, fair hour. If you help me, but that singular act, another trouble. Another trouble. In fact, that our area, there was this guy, I don't know if he's still there. He doesn't know I, I was married because every time when there's no food in the house, and he didn't give me money. I had to go to the guy. He's an Ibu guy. God bless him wherever he is. I will go and meet him. Um, buy food. Tell him I will give him end of the month. So that was the way I was surviving. At some point, I decided to go and learn tailor. That as I'm not working. Okay. Let me go and learn. So I go to Agege from Mui to Agege to go and learn. When I'm leaving, he gives me just 500 naira. Go and come back. I spend 450. So how do I survive? So I had to go with Gary, plenty Gary, to drink in the morning, afternoon. <sighs> so that was how we were doing it. So one day. Then I used to have this crazy pimple, which you know. Mm. So I when I was with my mom, that thing used to come out and it's very, very big. Sometimes I caught it. I go to the hospital to cut it and all that. So there's this, all these Alagbu people. They gave, the girl gave me one soap and one something that should be rubbing. Mm. Then the soap, I'll even put it inside gin and drink it. Anybody that is watching my milk, I'll put it in. So the thing will kill the pimple from, from inside. inside. Do you it's understand? And it is soap. Yes. You drink and soap. it works. So the one, the other one, I'll be putting it outside. So it will dry it from inside and so dry it outside. So that thing that happened when I was when we were at Mowi. So I went to get the product again, and I put it inside my bag. That I know that every day I will check my bag, even if I want to forget, I will check my bag. I will remember. Unfortunately, meanwhile, before then, <laughs> I went for a church program. So that part, the pastor that came was like. Eventually, I don't want to. I want. I don't want a long story. Mm. He called me and I was like, "Are you married?" I said, "Yes." He was like, "No, you are not married." I said, "I'm married." He said, "No, you are not married." So eventually, and I said, "Okay, I should do three days fasting." No, the yeah, three days fasting. So I said, "I told you to read you." I would do the three days, and after the third day, hmm, I can say that was the one week, only one week, I enjoyed in my marriage. You know, it changed totally to a loving husband wow. for that one week. Meanwhile, I was the one that told his friend that, ah, hey, any day, six o'clock, I tell you that I'm going to my wife. Please, a daddy sorrow me, oh. Once he says, for me, I cannot, ah, that cannot happen. This time, six is home. Sometimes he won't go out. Oh, yeah, woman, my wife, I love you. And I was so, but I was carried away. I never knew I should not rest. I should continue with the fasting, yeah. probably. So I was like, everything was okay. A week, just a week, exactly one week, that all this lovey-dovey started. I went to church with that bag that I kept those things. So when we go to church, even that day we won the best dressed couple. Hey. And for... For viewers that are watching this, then the cloth I wore, Jola, you gave me that cloth. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't buying anything for me. Mm. Jola gave me that cloth, you gave me that cloth, and I wore it with one of my, my Bula hat. Is a, if you could remember, is a cotton I, color. I can't remember. It's a remember. short suit, short suit gown. And I was like, I look so. So people were like, it was the one that, ah, he would not ask and he said, you don't have money. Where did you see that? I couldn't tell him that. It's my friend that I gave me.
so after the you know, paparazzi in church and i was like i wanted to go back home so i asked him to give me tea fair and he was like ah you you don't want them you don't have money blah blah, blah. So he wanted to, he dipped his hand in my bag wanted to bring out that soup and you know that's for my that i said i yes i forgot that that was where that thing was so you know you go money ara le ni ba ni mo la modu e la la ta ma pe ti ki se o se teyan fi nwe o se we cho se we lason is black soup o da la gbo ni mo tira so what as i wanted to bring it out and i stopped him I was like when Nassau it was like what is this that was it that was the end of our marriage and I was like we don't don't bring it out what did you show me why did you say that why did I say that though you should have told him you and no I told I told him that it's you know when I said stop that you shouldn't bring it out and it started I was like where were you guys? We're in church. Oh. We're in church. It's not everybody that we, I believe it's not everybody that will understand that this is for this particular thing. Mm. And that person might take it to be something else. Mm. So, and I explained that that's for my, and that thing was there. That it's for my, this thing, no, that, that was her. He doesn't even want to hear anything. That was just it. I cried. I begged. I in fact, that day, he didn't come home to sleep. Did you upset him too? <laughs> so, because of that, I couldn't use that thing. So, I had to go to pharmacy. I think I think I've bought the, the... No, I think I had to go to pharmacy that day to get antibiotics. And what the woman gave me was not normal antibiotics, but like more powerful. And she never told me that I sh can't use it when I'm on my period. So then, that day I was on my period, and I bought the, uh, the, the antibiotics, <laughs> and I used it. I almost died. And remember, he didn't come home to sleep. You were alone. I was alone in the house. So I was struggling. I, I couldn't breathe. My tummy was tearing apart, and I was, ah. Essentially, I shall take red oil. Something she asked me, take red oil. I took red oil, so I was calm, and the next day I went to meet the woman. And I said, ah, are you on your period? I said, yes. I, 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 you should have told me. If, if this thing leads to something else, that, that's going to be the end. So she asked me, she had apologized. Yeah, and I said, okay. If, let's say, I didn't take the red oil, my husband wasn't with me. So probably, could have led to anything. Led to anything. That won't go. Then later, I started having seizure because I started thinking I was depressed. Seizure. I started having seizure, and it wasn't at home. Every time I had seizure, it wasn't at home with me. Ah, <sighs> so and I said, okay. I think we have to end this thing somehow. I remember that every time there is camp, you know, every first Friday, we do camp. We always, always. And we won't talk to each other while we go there, pray and come back. Mm. So that is that was what actually, you know, happened every time. Every time, every time. Anytime that the yeah, Holy Ghost camp is coming, fight. In the camp, we won't be talking to each other and we'll be praying. So eventually, Sha, that's um I think it was in November, I couldn't remember. And now I just looked at myself in the mirror. I called myself three times. I said, Get so well, pussy bee. And I said, No. Before you met this guy, were you not leaving? I said, I was leaving. So if you leave this guy, won't you leave? I said, I will leave. And I said, This guy will not enter January with me. Because I can't. Even when his boss, it was when we got married, he started 
one job and they gave him a Prado Jeep. He told his friend that, he told me, not his friend, he told me that if he sees me on the road, sees his friend, he will not carry me. He will carry his friend. Because before I came, it was his friend that was with him. Ah. He will not carry you with the Jeep. With the Jeep. Okay. So, and to God be the glory, on the 30th of that year, I start. To, I told him I'm going to my dad's place. And I was going to my dad's place. He said, oh, devil. I said, okay. But within me, I know my coming back to that house is to pack my load. Okay, so okay, you didn't tell him the website. No, I didn't tell. I just took a few of my clothes. He, he knew that, of course, every December we go to my dad's place to do okay. New Year. Okay. So normally it's supposed to be on the 31st, but I left on the 30th because I'm tired. I was so tired. I couldn't sleep. At that time, you were like, how many months is a, or how many years is a That was about um, one and a half years or thereabout. So, I said I couldn't cope. I just had to go. Because ah, if I say I should be for it, for it, for it, ah. if I die, this guy will lose his life. Mm -hmm. So let's just separate. If truly he lost me, he will, he will come back. So I left. He came to my dad's place. And when he came, you know, I've already explained everything. He came, they called him, blah, blah, blah. So he was saying, the only excuse he gave was me. I have money that I don't want to spend. But I had three accounts and there is money there. I'm not spending it. That he, he, he asked me to do kitchen cabinets. I said I won't do it. That who does that? I say the account, all those even they still do it now. All those uh, marketers that will go on the road and start giving you free registration I mean, to open an account with them. Uh, that was that was the paper he saw. And he's like, ah, you have three accounts. This, 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 that, that, that. I said, I told my parents, I said, hello, sir, ma. It is two children you have, oh, two girls. If me say I don't do, you can give. You can give him Esther. But I don't want to, he's married, too. You don't have choice. So, after then, I don't, I, I don't really have anywhere to go to. But I said I'm leaving. I know I'm not staying with my parents, but I said I'm leaving. So I stay. I had to stay with my younger sister. I, had to, I was sleeping in, in um, a sitting room with my Ghana must go. Trust me, this guy did not call. Once or twice I called. No, there was a time he came to my younger sister's place. That was when there is this, um, ah, there was an issue there that everybody had to stay at home, not locked down. Oh, of course. Uh, no, 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 no. No, Ebola. There was one, I forgot. So everybody were, was actually were up at home, no going and no moving. So. I, I, was it the subsidy time? No subsidy. Something? something happened, I can't remember. Okay. So it came because only for. I remember that, I think it was close to that Jonah time. Mm, something should happen, I don't really know. Something happened that everybody just had to stay at home. Okay. Then, but private cars can move. move. So he will come to the to my sister's place, give me two thousand naira, go back, give me one thousand, go back. So there was a time his mom came. Not that the woman came to see me. Okay. She only, I think he went to pick the mom. So he came to he now came to see me. So he never knew I'm, I would be coming downstairs. I mean, seeing him off. So when he saw that I was seeing him off, and he knew that if I get to that car, I will see his mom. So now like ah, oh no, no why no motto. Oh, really? And I went to see the mother. <coughs> What's she now? Well, eh? sorry, it's late. She's late now, but I just have to <laughs> like, well, eh? Bawoni, one ladder, a brew, and a rewa. Monique, and ma. Okay. And that was it. I'm not a Lilo bag wife. Oh. Mm. You marry me, me, she lock her, me, kokoro. And that was it. Till the woman died, I never saw, saw her. Even none of his family member called to like want probably want to settle the 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 whole thing. Okay. Till now. But why? I don't know. What did you know that you don't know? What did you do that you don't know? I don't know. 
I don't know what he told them. I just don't know. Because I even remember when he wanted to get married. He, he gave my picture to the bouncers at the gate that if they see anybody, any my shadow, they should carry me. When who was this? Him, my ex. When he remarried? He remarried, yeah. That was how many years after? About like two, two years after. He went to court to do whatever he wants to do, but without me. Without me, whether I fake divorce or whether na he, whether he took some someone else there to represent me or I don't know what happened. He told I knew he had because there was a time we met. I said, see, I know you have done a divorce. Just give me the certificate. Let me have it too. Then I'm not holding you now. You can go and marry. Do this, do this. I said, okay, no problem. Then when I saw when I consulted my lawyer too, he said for the fact that we have been separated for two years, then the marriage is not in word, so I'm free to go. I said, okay. So that was how we, so that's pretty much after I so when he sees my picture and I was like, ah, fine, girl. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's still on my status, he's still on my contract. I wanted him to be there to see the glory of God in my life. Okay. I, to be honest, I actually, I forgot that. I'm, still, I'm, still, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, but in all of this story, What's your lesson? What do you ah. think is the cause? What was the problem? Number one, mm. parents, please, don't rush your female child, your girl child, into marriage if they are not ready. It is not worth it. Ah, your mates are married. They're having children. Your this are this. I know, I know, man. You say, I know, man. <laughs> so, you don't, you don't need to rush them. I won't say my parents per se, but they are part they of it. They contributed to it. Because they were like, ah, the younger sister, let be more What are you waiting for? Hey, they, 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 they. The, what I ran away from, they are saying it now. In fact, worse. Not that my mom, but my, my other brother, what he said really made me cry. So, but I don't know. That's number one. Number two. Sissy, hey, if you are pregnant, don't force any man to marry you. Hmm. If the guy says he doesn't want to marry you, let him go. Let him go. Don't I, I'm not so, I'm not supporting abortion. If you know you are capable to take care of your child, please, in peace. Because he said he doesn't want me. Mm. But persuasion from his family, he doesn't want to have child after wedlock, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. I have to give him. Even despite warning from left and right, spiritually, physically. In fact, there were, when I was pregnant, there was a church I went to to pray. It's a CAC. The man said, just make sure, leave marriage. Make sure you take care of this pregnancy. I remembered vividly. The man said, please, take care of this pregnancy so that you can Because the guy too, I remembered when I, when I was at the hospital, when I lost my children, there was a woman who happened to be his tunnel message. There was a woman that came to, you know, brought food for me in the hospital. She brought rice at a for you. Okay. But before God and man, my spirit didn't eat that food. And when he came, he was like, kill her like Jack Bewa. Openly eat it. Later I got to know that well, let me see something so that it will, it will come after me. I got to know that there was kind of something between him and the Elijah. I hear, I didn't that see. the food. Yes, I didn't see you from, you know, Orokere. If he does not had had one, he will remove. Uh -huh. So, but, <laughs> oh, Gogate. Ah, sorry, I'm speaking too much. Yoruba. It's okay. It's, if there is no collaboration, truth. Because it's got to a point, the woman said, leave my house. 
which house? Because we were living in a, in a house, in the woman's house. We, that was where he was living before we got married. Is the woman, is he a family member or he, something? She, she was, was she? Um, mother of my ex-friend. My ex is friend in school. Okay. She was the mother. mother. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, the girls, please, do not rush into marriage. Now, the single life I don't want to live, though, I'm enjoying it, though. <laughs> the single life I don't want to live then. Ah, I want to, ah, I don't, ah, I want to be this. I want to lie there. I want, ah, they are good, come well. There are some, ah, they that are tons, oh. Ah, they are good, they are Ah, I do real okay. I do real okay. What is she about? But seriously, it is a lesson. Now, if my mom says, I say, hey, Joe, please leave me in peace. Because it's not that I didn't try. That was where I said, the guy in the U.S. came back. Came back. After he left again. That then time we start. Then I was, I was single then. I, I am single. I'm still single, yeah. Oh. So he came back. Then he had issues with his wife in the U.S. That one, he has four children with that one. He had issues, so he said he wants to marry me. I gave him again. He came. So, and I went to, his family are in Togo. So, and I went to Togo mm -hmm. to meet him. Thank God I even went. That was where I started seeing issues. Started seeing some, you know, if you are having a relationship and you're not close, you might not know some things about that person. Mm. So, when I went, I started seeing some things. And I was like, the last one, I went to his mom's place. And th that was the second time I would be going. So I went there and she started saying some things about me. He, to my face, so, so when I came back, it was like, he called me and I said I was cooking. And I said, ah, you didn't cook for me. I said, you know, I see me, I don't understand what you guys are saying. Okay, this is what you can do for me. That's kitchen that you guys turn to store. Let me to arrange it. Just buy me camp gas. Find me pot and some other things. So if I need anything, me and one of the house help can go to the market and they speak, they will speak to them and I will buy whatever I want to buy. And I said, the statement he made was, what do you mean? Buy gas. Here, the house help that are using charcoal to cook. Are you better than them? Why is everybody comparing me to house help? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. You look like house help. Ah, I sincerely feel that um, there has been a bend, there has been an issue from that relationship within mm -hmm. in the first place. Mm -hmm. Because if you had done something tangible with your life before that time, yes. when you got married, you were working, you had That the is money. another mistake I made. It was... It Do was, not... Ladies... Be be your own boss before you marry you. Yes. Hey. Yes. Be financially, be financially okay. Mm, get work, get better work. Do. Don't say my if I marry my my uh, husband. I'm looking for a rich mm. husband that will take care of Hey. Mm. Hey. <laughs> In fact, it was when I was with him. When we were at Mowe, that was when I started. I came back to the industry. Thanks to my friend doing agree. Then she, she had a program at uh, Amundu Don't Tell mm. And um, I had to join. And that was where I was managing myself. The guy that used to give me food, I know he said, ah, one month, I wish I get one advert that I used to pay that mm. guy. So that was how I was managing. Mm. So now, to God be the glory, he sees me, he was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, hey. You sure I don't want to get old guy? Yeah. Me. Step, step, me. Step back. Step back. <laughs> Well, um, I think, um, thank God that you've been able to learn from the process and then um, you are not what you used to be. Ah, no. Thank you I so much, Mike, for coming on the show. Thank you. I so wish we can continue, but <laughs> over time will not permit us. Guys, you have learned from our story. Mm. Ladies out there, please be careful. Be financially independent independent that's at least good. have something you're doing even you don't have to have the whole oh, world God, yes but you have something that you can fall back on in case there is anything 
And then parents, please learn. Do not push your children. Either he's a boy or he's a mm -hmm. girl. If he's not ready, he's not ready. Marriage can stay. Marriage, people live. Without marriage, she's living now without mm -hmm. marriage. And she's happy. Yes, I am. Imagine if she had waited to, to at least get herself, you know, enabled, independent. Maybe these things would not have happened. She lost the children. She almost lost her life. And then she had, she almost lost her life, rather. And then she had to pick up and start all, all over. over again. Can you imagine the misfortune? But thank God for life. Guys, this is where I'll be drawing the curtain. This is where I'll be saying goodbye till I come your way next week. I hope you're learning. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell others about it. You can also follow my Facebook page, Abiola Ayomide Adebayo. I remain your host on this show. Don't forget, in whatever you do, put God first. Be determined and stay focused. Till I come your way next week, be good. Talk to B. 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 Talk to